first thing I do is I use Mixline, which post that again in chat. Instead of using the the Windows uh, audio settings to tell each program where to route the audio to, I say, Mixline, uh, you are in charge of sending my audio programs to a specific channel on my Rodecaster Duo. If I was using Wavelink, Mixline would be the thing that that would send audio to a particular Wavelink channel because Windows messes up your audio on its own without any help. So if you use Mixline and leave all your Windows settings at default, I, I don't believe I've had any problems with my audio routing around since I started doing that. That That's tip one. Now then, in I have essentially three audio channels to use on the Rodecaster Duo. There, there's four sliders. One of those sliders is exclusively for my microphone. Uh, then I have three channels. Then I have some virtual channels, too, I can set up to use. Uh, but basically, I have four sliders. So everything I do is kind of going into one of these three audio channels. And then I have that audio channel separate in uh, OBS. I don't do a full... Like, if you go into Wavelink, you can put in either the full stream mix or you can do separate audio channels. You know, you can have your microphone, you can have your SFX, you can have your music. And you can fill OBS with as many audio sources as you want, right, on the program. But if you're recording it and separating out the tracks, you get six tracks in, in that recording. Uh, you have to kind of decide where you want these things to go at some point. Now, for streaming, I have everything going on the first audio track. Like, audio track one just gets everything and then I use the other audio tracks to separate things out and uh, I'll show you this handy dandy graphic if I can get to it demo window hey there we go my handy dandy graphic look at that this is this is what I do so my audio sources like my mic anything that is a chat audio source like discord or zoom goes to the it, it's called roadcaster duo chat so it'd be that that all goes to the roadcaster duo chat channel and music goes like such modifier signscape goes to the roadcaster duo secondary channel and then if i'm using uh if i have friends on and i want to be able to separate game audio from them i, I would change this up and have their chat go to the main stereo along with my microphone so the first bit is uh, routing your Windows audio into another program, whether that is just using OBS and you're just inputting audio sources into OBS, or if you're using a other program, like I'm using the Rodecaster Duo, so I'm telling everything to go into the Rodecaster Duo because it's a lot easier for me to control my audio that way. And then you have six OBS audio tracks. And I, I've broken down what, what, I, what I do here. So track one, and we'll, we'll show you how to do all this in OBS after this. So track one is stream. It's what you're hearing now. It's everything. It is the music, the Twitch alerts, all the stuff goes into track one. All right? And then usually when I'm editing, because you're thinking about the edit when you when you do this multi-track stuff is that you know do you need just one track of everything do you need to separate out a particular thing of audio for any reason and this is helpful in making shorts and cutting down your live streams whatever you want to do because maybe you only need to boost up one audio and, and you don't need to you know maybe your video game audio is loud enough but you don't you know it uh, but you need your mic audio louder instead of going, okay, this power wave, this power wave, and, you know, this segment, this segment, this segment, and the timeline, you're just applying all to one wave, and then you can do that. Now, you'll want to, what, what I found in multi-track recording when you're editing it is that you'll want to get rid of track one 
and just focus on the other tracks or get rid of all the other tracks and just use track one. Otherwise, your audio sounds weird, at least in... I use DaVinci Resolve to edit. So if you use DaVinci Resolve to edit and you play your video and your multi-track recording and you have a, a one audio stream that's all you're recording, it's going to sound... And then you have it broken up. It's going to sound weird, but just mute the all stream track, uh, the all audio track or, you know, the individual track, whatever. And it'll sound fine. It'll, it'll be fine. Trust me. Yeah, I've, I've done this. So uh, now with OBS, you can do a special thing with your Twitch VOD and take out the music source. So you notice here, and, and that will be track two. So when uh, in OBS, in your settings, you can go, okay, so for my Twitch VOD, I want you to only take things that are in track two, and I leave my music out of it, and that way there's no, even though I shouldn't get a copyright strike for the music I use, that way that music is just out of the VOD. So you notice I have mic, video game, video game and alerts all, all in track two, but I don't have music. In, in track two. And this is a special feature of OBS. Uh, I don't think other other things do this. So yeah, so if you're doing OBS audio sources, track one, I, I just put everything. Track two, I reserve for the Twitch VOD. You can, you can, oh, forgive me. You can actually set which track it is that the VOD pays attention to. So if you don't want it to be two, it doesn't have to be two. But, uh, yeah, so you can set it, and there's just a little radial button, and we'll probably get to those settings in a minute as well. Track 3, I put my mic. Track 4, video games. Track 5, music. Track 6, Twitch alerts. Twitch alerts do not go through my Roadcaster Duo. They, they're just their own separate thing in OBS. Again, you can put as many audio sources as you want when you're streaming OBS. But if you want to get them down, you get six tracks and you have to decide where you want things to go. Or you can just leave everything at default and everything will go to all the tracks. So th this is my basic setup for when I stream, when I'm, when I'm just you, me, the video games. Uh, if you didn't know, you can pull out your, uh, your various docs on the bottom of OBS and put them in separate screens. So this is my audio. As you can see, we have my mic. Obviously, my mic, right? Spotify and Twitch alerts, all separate thing. If I switch over to the game scene, let's see how this works. Okay, this is fine. You notice I have game audio and then my mic, Spotify, and Twitch alerts, right? These, this is your audio mixer, as you can tell right up there. And to assign your audio tracks where they need to go, you click this gear down here. Here's everything it thinks has a should have an audio source attached to it. My background, I call moving I call moving background. And because it's a media file, OBS goes, well, it should have audio, right? It there's no audio. So I just make sure these are all unchecked. There's no audio. There's no reason to have it. Uh, the Amuse Spotify app it puts here. Again, it doesn't need to go anywhere. No reason. So what we're and NVIDIA Broadcast. So what we're mainly worried about is the Duo Main, the Duo Secondary, and the Twitch Alert. As you can see, everything that's a clear audio source is going to track one. What you're hearing is all, all the things, right? So track one. Every, this is my stream track, right? Track one. So I make sure everything that has to have audio is going to track one. And then I also need my mic to go to track two. I don't need Spotify to go to track two because this is my Twitch VOD track. And for in case something decides to go, oh, there's a copyright strike for whatever reason, I don't include it in track two. And this is confusing because it's box and then number, box and then number. And sometimes I get lost in three and four and like think this box is three. But no, this box is three. Uh, <laughs> So it's box and then number. Music's out of track two. But what's in track two? Twitch alerts are in track two. I had to double check each time. Yeah, yeah, I, I do I do the same. So I have, you know, the main track of everything. I have the track that's just for Twitch VOD. And then when I look at this in my editing 
video editing software, I have my mic exclusively on track three and nothing else in the track three column. And for music, Spotify, I have it only on track five and nothing else in the track five column. Twitch alerts are on track six, nothing else in the track six column. Kind of look at columns and rows here. I found that handy. Like I know my mic should be the only audio source in track three. I can look up and down in the column of track three. If there's anything else checked, I know to uncheck it. Same thing with Twitch alerts. They they're they should be the only thing in track six. Nothing else should be checked. All right. And then if we do the same thing for game audio, and go over to this screen here. You see now I have I have game audio, and that's the duo chat channel that we showed earlier, and that's going to track four. The only thing going to track four. And I want I want it on the everything channel. I want it on the VOD channel. And to manipulate on itself, I need to go four. Reading this confused me, so I'm just going over it as I had to tell myself how to observe these things. <laughs> so I hope it's helpful for everyone else because looking at this and going, okay, what is going on here? I, I had trouble with it, so this is how I explain it to myself, <laughs> basically. So six audio tracks. Now I could have eight, ten audio sources and they would all be displayed here in this list, but then I have to decide, but... If I'm record, if I'm looking at the recording, I have to decide where those 10 things are going. I only have six tracks going out in OBS. Just because this is six, says six doesn't mean that you only get six audio sources. You can put as many audio sources as you want. This is only for the recording going out. But if you're doing editing and need to separate out the tracks, you get six. So in OBS... I'm using the I'm using the settings tab. So uh, usually under controls, there's you know start stop streaming, stop start stop recording, virtual camera studio mode settings. You click settings, and then uh, this is the window that pops up. Right then you go to stream, or I'm sorry, audio or no output. <laughs> go to output and uh, streaming. You notice, okay, streaming settings, audio track. I want everything in audio track one to go out to all of you. So that radio button's pushed. Uh, and this is also what confused me is that check boxes. And then now we have the radio buttons because they only want you to select one radio button. And I'm like, okay. So instead of saying track audio tracks one, three, four, five, and six, I need to go out. I just pick one, one of them and the... So setting up your audio in those settings to here, to the settings screen, because it just because it's a different button, it, it's a it's a radio button, not a checkbox, just confused me. So streaming settings, audio track one is the track I want to go out to all of you. I can pick any of the six. Twitch VOD track, check that it's going. Um, I can't affect that because I am currently streaming, but that is. Track two, again, I could pick any track I wanted for any of these, but track two, the track without the without the Spotify music is why I want you to pay attention to for the Twitch VOD. And then you can go to audio, audio bit rate, 320 for everything. Why not, All right? Recording, now here you can see, you know, where I put my recordings, my recording format, you stream encoder, audio encoder, and then audio track. You can, if you don't have anything on an audio track, you could take one out and not have it in the recording. But I'm afraid I would get confused if I did that because say I need, say I didn't need track three and I unchecked track three. What I don't know, and maybe I'll test this someday, but because I've been actually doing things I want to preserve and things like that, I haven't. If I take out track three, does my audio, uh, does my editing program now go, Track, okay, you got tracks one, two, and audio track three for me is track four because that's the third audio track in the list, five, six, and now they don't align with each other how I have them, and then I get all sorts of confused. So I'm just leaving all six checked for the time being. Global audio devices. Looking at this, I now ponder maybe to remove track one and two from the recording period. Oh, yeah, that, that could be. That, that might be. Uh, actually, that, that would probably be great to do. And then, you know... The other tracks, no matter what order they're in, you're just eliminating tracks one and two, and you can figure it out from there. Global audio devices, these are 
sometimes you'll see this picked by default. I disable all these because this will send the audio of whatever you're picking here to all of your scenes in OBS. I don't want that. I want the audio to be discrete. So I just disable all this, right? And then everything else is just default. I don't use hotkeys uh, that off for much of my audio. Or I don't, I should say I don't use OBS hotkeys. But yeah, so I, I disable all these because sometimes you'll be doing something and you could get weird audio and you're wondering where it's coming from. Well, it's coming from another, another thing because you have it set in global audio devices. And so I'm just like, no, no, I don't want audio going everywhere. I, I want to control that, <laughs> right? <laughs> so disable all that. Uh, sample rate, I have at 48 kilohertz, uh, and then channel stereo. Now, uh, you, you saw that when I record, it goes into MKV. There's also a setting you can set to make it into MP4 because maybe your editing program doesn't use MKV files. So you can set to just make it an MP4 or you can have it when you're done recording can have uh, automatically give you an mkv and then make that mkv into an mp4 as well so if your audio audio if your video editor doesn't take mkv files just because you saw that's why i have up you can either just record to mp4 davinci resolve sometimes takes a while to show the, the actual wave here but trust me there's audio going on so here we have audio one, two, three, four, five, six, corresponding to everything we just set up. And in Resolve, if I want to mute a track, I just hit the M and mute it. Because eventually, what you're going to do is mix all this down into one video track, one audio track. You can mess with your individual tracks. Like I said, I take to audio track one, and I, I just uh, delete track. Oops, that deleted track six. Don't do what I just did. <laughs> so I would lock these other tracks is what I should be doing. And then when I hit audio track, oh, now you can see my audio there. And notice my audio wave is not in four, five, or six. It's just in one, which is, again, the stream to everybody. Two is the VOD. And three is just my microphone. Get rid of that one. There's track one gone. And the video went away too. <laughs> But also, if I didn't want this track in my final mix and I was having editing problems like I am now because it doesn't want to separate itself out from the video. Oh, I would have to... I got to lock the video, too. So there we go. And then delete that. And now it went to back to the beginning of my video. But track one's gone. And I'm only going to get my audio through one of these tracks. That's the idea. And now you see all the audio sources have something going on in them. But then if I just want to manipulate my voice, make it louder, I have that option, right? I can just select that track and go, I only want to use audio track three. I only want my voice, I need my voice to be louder across my whole entire timeline and not worry about it affecting my music or anything else and do that. So yay. So that's using multi-track audio in OBS. Believe me, I've been staring at those audio check boxes and radio buttons sometimes and going like what what is happening so hopefully that distilled it down and if you're like me and you're just looking at it in confuso vision uh hopefully that cleared a few things up audio ducking so i want to have my spotify go down when whenever my mic source is active so i click settings go to filters go to compressor you can name it whatever you want. You hit OK, and now you get this. Well, Compressor does certain things to audio, but if you don't want it to do these things to your audio track, and you only want it, you want it to do audio ducking, that's what this thing does. This, this box here, this uh, sidechain ducking source. As soon as you select something, this now becomes an audio ducking thing and no longer does. Otherwise, you are affecting your audio. But one, as soon as you select something here, it will only affect when you have the source pick. So here, what what's the audio source? So uh, is my mic even in here? I don't think it is because I have to do... Yeah, it is. So I choose my mic. If you want compressor to run normally, you, you just make another... another. You just put another one in, right? And now I have compressor. Or if I want, you know, another source to also decrease this source... I can pick a different source. 
Uh, let's get rid of that. Yes, I want to remove compressor too. Okay. So I've selected something. Now this comes up when I might. So ratio, you, you probably want to play with these. Ratio, threshold. Because uh, threshold is going to be how far it, it goes down. So you can talk and do test recordings. and Or just look at the how far down the audio. Just look at the audio meter. You know, the these right here. The, the audio meter. Just look at the audio meter with both sources going and see if it goes down far enough for you. And attack is how quickly it comes on. So I usually do this at one. I want to happen right away. Release, I give it a little bit of time to come back so it's not a sudden come back and blasting everyone out. So release is after I'm done talking, how much time before you, it gets up to what I've set as full volume. And then output gain, you can, you know, if you want your source to be louder you can mess with that but that's what attack release and threshold then is you know where how what level you want that at in obs and then you've achieved audio ducking yay and uh, audio ducking is great y'all you I, like i can't over recommend audio ducking vancouver by night hello as someone who just does regular audio which i think is just what i hear in the headphones via like a zoom call is there a way to get an audio source that doesn't play everything from my computer? Yes. Yeah, you just want it to play the Zoom. Uh, you just want the Zoom call to go through, right? I believe that's what you're saying. You just want the Zoom audio and not everything else. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I can show this off. So yeah, this is my sources of what, yeah, seeing what the sauce has made. So the this the window, you <laughs> enhance, yeah. The window you're looking at right now, <laughs> this is what I named the caption or the uh, display source that you're seeing just because I wanted a display source and I didn't feel like naming it properly. <laughs> so <laughs> it's just this. Um, y'all, y'all don't, don't do this. Name your stuff so you can figure out what it is later. <laughs> but so what you want to do to just isolate Zoom is you'll have to have Zoom running and then you hit add audio source and you go to, um, you can go to application audio capture or you can go to audio input capture, depending on, or uh, it might be audio output capture. I get confused sometimes because the way Roadcaster Duo interfaces with OBS and the way programs interface with OBS is sometimes a little different. But if you go to application audio capture and, you know, add, add uh, you get this window, add existing, okay. And now I can select, oh, now you can't see this window because it popped up uh, elsewhere. You can select whatever program you have running. Let's click here, like Google Chrome. Well, now I'm just capturing Google Chrome audio or just the Discord or, you know, NVIDIA, whatever. As long as it's an open program on your computer, I could even do just Spotify. If I didn't run Spotify through my mixer, here's where I would just put in Spotify audio and it won't capture anything else. So uh, Zoom will appear in this window if you hit, if you activate Zoom, and then it will appear as a as an audio source in your uh, audio mixer window. So theoretically, you could do this for say Zoom and Steam. Yes. Yep. Now if I accidentally click on YouTube when recording, it shouldn't play in my ear and mess up the recording. <laughs> yeah, no problem. So yeah, I'm I'm uh, all about separating out audio sources uh, just in the mixer and now in my recording. So thank you all for being here. Really appreciate it.